Hello everyone, today our topic is how to share blogger posts to Facebook page. So today our objective is that whenever a new post is added in our blogger application, we want the same post to get posted in our Facebook page. For that, we are going to create an integration between blogger and Facebook page. For creating this integration and to automate this process, we are going to use Public Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. In Public Connect, we are going to use triggers and action. In trigger application, we will be using blogger. In action application, we will be using Facebook. So how I'm going to create this integration? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. Hello everyone. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we have blogger application and my Facebook page. So today our objective is that whenever we create a new post in blogger and make this post live, we want this same post to get added or get posted automatically in my Facebook page. So for this, we will create an integration between my blogger and my Facebook page. Also, I want to automate this process so that I can save my time and energy. So for this automation and integration, I'm going to use Public Connect. For that, I will open a new tab and search for Pabli.com. And it will take me to this landing page of Pabli. Here we have two options, sign in or sign up for free. If you don't have any account with Public Connect, you can just sign up for free and it will take two minutes of your time and you will get hundreds of tasks free every month. Or if you already have an account, you can just sign in. And it will take me to this page of Pabli. And here we can see these are the tools that Pabli offers. Here we are going to use Pabli Connect. For that, I'm going to click here on Access Now button under Pabli Connect. And it will take us to the dashboard of the Pabli Connect. Here we can see this is the workflow section. We can see all the workflow that we will create here. And this is the folder section. We can create new folder from here and we can save the workflow in any particular folder that we want. Now we are going to create a workflow. For that, I'm going to click here on the create workflow button. And this window will pop up. Here I have to name my workflow. So I will name it as share blogger post to Facebook page. So this is my objective and I will select the folder where I want to save my workflow in. So my folder will be home. I will click on create. And it will take us to the most important window of our workflow. And here we have two boxes, triggers and action. Trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So triggers and action are the most important principle on which our workflow works. And Trigger will be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. Now we are going to set up our trigger application and our trigger application will be blogger. I'll search for blogger and click here. Now I have to select my trigger event. I'll open this tab and my trigger event will be new post added. So whenever a new post will be added in our blogger application, it will work as my trigger event. So I will connect my account. I'll click here on connect. I click on add new connection. I will click on sign in with Google. I'll click on continue to give access to my account. And I have successfully connected my account. Now this is asking for my blog ID. So let's go back to blogger and these are the blog ID that I'm going to use. So I'm going to use the my blog ID. I'll click here. I'll go back to public connect and I will select my blog ID, which is my blog and I will select the status of only live. So what this means is that whenever a new post will be live on my blogger application, then only it will work. Now, before clicking on save and send test request button, I will create a new post in my blogger application. So let's go back to blogger. I click on new post. I will give title to my new post. So my title will be happy the share. Now I will give the content. So my content will be celebrate the victory of good over evil. Now I also want to add an image here. So I will insert an image. I'll click on select. So I have posted this image. So this is my post. The title of my post is happy the share. And this is the content celebrate the victory of good over evil. And this is the image. Now we'll publish this and make it live. So I'll click on confirm. And now we'll go back to public connect and I'll click on save and send test request button. 
here we can see we got this response and if you don't get this response immediately don't worry it is a polling based response that's why it can take about 15 minutes to 8 hours so don't worry about your response you will get response between these time and here we have title title of my post is happy dashara and this is my content and here we can see my content is mixed with all the html tags so i have to decode this content to use further so for decoding this code i'm going to use a tool which probably offers which is data transformer and i'm going to click here on add action step and i will search for data transformer so i'm going to use data transformer by pably i will give an action event which will be strip html tags i will connect and now i will give the encoded string which will be the content of my post i will select that so this is the encoded string that i'm going to decode so i will click on save and send test record button So here we can see we have this decoded string which says celebrate the victory of good over evil and we will use this further. So let's add another action step. And here I'm going to search for my action application which will be Facebook pages. I'll click here. I'll give an action event. Create page post. I will connect my account, click on add new connection, I will connect with Facebook pages. I will continue this to give access and my connection is successful. Here I have to map my page. So for that, let's go back to my Facebook page and here we can see this is the name of my page, which is Pabli Connect. So let's go back to Pabli Connect and map this. So I will map public connect here. Now I have to give the message. So my message of my post will be mix of my title and the content of my blog post. So I will map it for mapping. I will click here. I will map the blogger response. I will open this and I will search for the title. And now I will give space. And now I will give the content from the data transformer response. So this will be my message. Happy Dashera. Celebrate the victory of good over evil. So this is my message. Now I have to give an link URL. So I will give the URL of my image. I'll map it similarly from the blogger response. So this is the URL. This is the message and this is my page. So why have used mapping here? So that whenever I get a new response in my trigger response, I want these details to get exchanged with the data that continuously changing in my response. And I want this data in real time. I click on save and send test request button. And here we can see we have this response to check whether we have posted the same post of my blogger. Let's go back to my Facebook page. Let's refresh this. And here in this post section, we can see we have this new post. The message of my post is happy Dashara. Celebrate the victory of good over evil. And this is the image. So this is the same post that we have created in my blogger. And we have posted it here on my Facebook page. So my workflow is successful. And we have created this integration between blogger posts and my Facebook page so that whenever a new post is added or created in my blogger application, that same post is getting posted in my Facebook page. And we are creating this by using Pabli Connect. So let's go back to Pabli Connect. Here we have created this integration between blogger and my Facebook page. So let's summarize what we did here. First, we have set up my trigger. And my trigger application was Google Blogger and my trigger event was new posts added. And then we have decoded my content that we are going to use further. For that, we use a tool that Pabli offers, which is Data Transformer by Pabli. And in this, my action event was strip HTML tags. Then we have set up another action. In this, my action application was Facebook pages. And my action event was create page post. 
So my workflow is successful. So you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And also I will put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there. Thank you. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this using Pabli Connect. If you need any help or if you have any doubt, you can email us at support at the If you have any queries, you can post them at forum.pabli.com or if you have any issue with the pricing of Pabli, you can connect on this link. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.